Hey Leo, guys, welcome back to Tiff Talks 22. Um, I started posting the little quickie love readings for you guys the other day. Only did like the first four though, so I'm going to do the next four. And Leo, you guys are up. Your overall energy is challenging times. It's that five of wands energy. Listen though, it feels like a challenging ch time because some of y'all are like going through an ending or a separation of some sort, right? Like you, I feel like it's already happened. You have the Ice King here. That's that Gemini energy. Doesn't have to be a Gemini though, uh, but it's the energy of detaching, letting go of something. There's a relationship that was either unstable um, or just kind of left you feeling insecure, but definitely un discontent, unhappy in the partnership. But guess what? You guys walked away from that sh thing. Almost cussed, almost cussed. You guys walked away from that thing and took your power back. All right. So you guys are feeling super empowered. You're giving your energy, being mindful of what you give your energy to. You have this new opportunity here. Um, I feel like you guys are really just having fun times, a good time. So you could be going to like concerts, um, social events, just really socializing, putting yourself out there more. I feel like um you are there's there's your energy right there with the sun card. You guys are feeling good, focused on yourselves, but there's also still like this underlying sense of stress. So with that 10 of wands, so I clarified that 10 of wands to see what that was. And it's the justice card. So it's like, okay, as things kind of shift back into balance from this past connection to the current, and for some of y'all, like I said, you might be getting a divorce actually, right? Um, you're kind of trying to balance those two energies. I also feel like at one of these social events, while you kind of putting yourself back out there, you have met someone. There is someone new, okay? And I feel like you guys are just kind of moving forward into your next chapter, really trying to manifest or focus on creating the type of relationship that you truly desire here um, as you move forward. This is the part, though, not that that's not challenging. This is the part that gets challenging. In the near future here, we do have the mature man. And a lot of times, right, I see the mature man and the energy, even though it's saying it's a mature man, that's somebody who's older, who's of a certain age, right? Um... I'll see the mature man and I'll see like a childish energy behind them. But no, 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 that does not appear to be the case right here. So what I feel like is happening is as you try to move forward here into this next chapter, you're getting past all this challenging energy, these obstacles, you're processing your feelings about the situation you left. But here you are opening, uh, opening yourself up to your new relationship, this new situation and really getting clear about what it is you want in your future with this particular person or with someone else, whatever the case, right? Um, you're really establishing what your fears are and you're still kind of like in the process of detaching from this last situation. That person's coming back. It's not like a reconciliation. It's just like, I don't know if this person has like some anger towards you for the ending or if they are going to apologize or pursue you in some way. But it's clearly the person that you detached from, which was a toxic situation, um, is going to come back and do some apologizing. They may try to be a little bit disruptive, right? And you're going to be in your energy like, mm -hmm, I knew that, right? <laughs> but I feel like you guys are kind of moving forward into something new, something more solid, more stable. I just wanted to let you know about that. So I feel like they'll be running back around, but it's too late. Like the paperwork is already done. You know what I'm saying? I hope this was helpful, Leo. Bye-bye.